Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another series review. Recently I just saw uh, OUAT's uh, episode called The Jolly Roger and in this particular episode there's a huge twist that occurs <laughs> which I really enjoyed and I should have seen this coming from a mile away but <laughs> it it caught me off guard so the writers of this show are very 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 good at transitioning from one thing to another their segues are just absolutely impeccable and I was indeed <laughs> surprised at what occurred but it reveals a past with Ariel and um, Hook and I thought that that arc was very intriguing and interesting <coughs> and why she wasn't involved in particular because spoiler alert close your ears if you don't want to hear this but Zelina takes on the form of Ariel and she got the information that she needed Regina takes Emma under her wing to to instruct her in her tutelage of magic and how to use it of course Emma does it in her own unique way <laughs> and that's actually very funny and I thought yeah I knew she would do that but it's getting better and better and I'm wondering what will occur next, especially since I think there's a showdown that's going to come up. And uh, this is going to be good. This will be very epic, I feel. This will be um, a knockdown, drag out slugfest of Herculean proportions. They brought in Blackbeard. And I thought, if they brought in Blackbeard, why don't they introduce Jack Sparrow? Because I just think that would be another interesting story arc. I don't know why, maybe it, because I love Pirates of the Caribbean so much, and I'm just a big pirate fan. But uh, I don't think that OUAT will be doing that, but I'm pretty sure that those amongst us who are fanfic writers will probably of ourselves because that's what the internet is for. Woo um, This was a really great episode. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I'm looking forward to the next episode with Beta Breath and um, I am excited. I am just I can't wait. It's, I think it's going to be absolutely splendiferous and fantabulous. <laughs> And um, my update now is I recently heard from my father, and of course they're going to keep him in the hospital, but they found that he had fluid around his heart. He has heart failure, which I kind of felt that he did. But they're going to keep him there for the whole week, so I may not see him until the weekend, which really stinks. But at least I know that he's in good hands and positive thoughts and vibrations are accepted prayers of course I will accept any and all of the above he is in the care of some very superb professional people that know exactly what they're doing and have the ability to discern how to care for him and they put him on a bunch of Lasix <laughs> My poor dad, he's going to have to pee like a racehorse, but uh, <laughs> other than that, other than peeing out Niagara Falls, I, I think he'll be great. 